It hasn't even been two years since OpenAI changed the world with the launch of ChatGPT, but already there are signs that the technology may be approaching its limits. OpenAI's latest model, Orion, was built to replace GPT and take things much further. However, it has not met the company's performance goals. While Orion is an upgrade over OpenAI's previous GPT models, it hasn't achieved the breakthrough the company hoped for. Now, there's growing evidence that artificial general intelligence, AGI, might be further away than experts, like OpenAI CEO Sam Altman initially anticipated. And OpenAI isn't the only AI startup facing such hurdles. According to Bloomberg, Alphabet's newest version of Gemini isn't meeting internal expectations. Meanwhile, Anthropic, a competitor that is closely challenging OpenAI, has fallen behind on releasing its new Claude chatbot model, called 3.5 Opus. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members-only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. Is the AI bubble popping? The primary reason why these AI models seem to be hitting a ceiling is that they're struggling to find new sources of meaningful training data. Earlier models have already used up resources like Wikipedia, social media, and news websites. Margaret Mitchell, the chief ethics scientist at AI startup Hugging Face, shared her thoughts with Bloomberg on the challenges in the field. The AGI bubble is bursting a little bit. This means that until the issue of securing reliable training data sets is solved, the expected performance of advanced AI models is likely to plateau or even decline in the near future. It's still unclear how severe this slowdown is, but in a time when other experts are pointing out the AI bubble, this could result in reduced stock valuations across the tech industry. As the law of diminishing returns appears to be affecting large language models, the AI industry may face challenges. NVIDIA, NVDA negative 3.26%, seems to be the company most at risk. After all, NVIDIA's graphics processing units, or GPUs, are used to train AI models like ChatGPT, and the demand for these chips has surged since ChatGPT launched. Companies involved in cloud infrastructure, autonomous vehicles like Tesla, and AI startups have been stockpiling NVIDIA's chips, expecting an AI boom. However, there's still no standout application for generative AI. The technology is impressive, but the use cases aren't fully defined, especially considering it still makes occasional errors. Some analysts on Wall Street are skeptical about the huge investments companies like Alphabet and Microsoft are making in AI. They doubt whether these investments will pay off, as consumer spending on generative AI still seems to be lagging. David Kahn, a general partner at the venture capital firm Sequoia Capital, pointed out the growing AI bubble back in June. He noted that the revenue projections tied to the AI buildup were expected to reach $600 billion by the end of this year, while OpenAI, a leader in the field, is on track to earn just $3.7 billion this year. It's aiming for $11.6 billion in revenue by 2025. What it means for NVIDIA and its AI peers. NVIDIA stock has largely ignored the news so far, suggesting that investors don't see it as a major threat. As a result, the AI stock is now trading near all-time highs. A slowdown in the growth of large language models, LLMs, doesn't indicate the end of technological progress. OpenAI's Orion model is currently undergoing post-training. This routine process is designed to refine the model's tone and make necessary adjustments before its public release, which is expected early next year. There are also other methods to advance AI, apart from LLMs, even though LLMs have been the go-to approach for major tech companies ever since ChatGPT launched two years ago. NVIDIA is scheduled to report its third quarter earnings this Wednesday, and we might hear questions about the challenges of scaling AI models and what this could mean for NVIDIA. Analysts expect NVIDIA to report another impressive set of results, with consensus forecasting an 82% increase in revenue, bringing it to $32.9 billion. 
For now, the company's rapid growth doesn't seem at risk. However, if artificial general intelligence, AGI, turns out to be further off than investors had hoped, the stock could feel the effects eventually. Give us a like if you like our video, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.